Oh yes, it's taping now, that's much easier. Hello and welcome to this uh, Hero 3 uh, Plus Black Edition test. I don't know if you saw in the uh, wording on the last video, me, basically my Hero 3 Silver developed a fault with a USB port meaning that uh, yeah you could no longer well you couldn't charge it or couldn't plug it into the computer to access the files on its memory card and but more importantly you couldn't uh, plug in your microphone because that uses the USB port so it's like well without that I can't talk without talking well it's just another just another video isn't it of someone with a GoPro on their helmet not very good noise sound no speaking so uh, decided to get another one so here we are three plus black straight away the buttons on it are a lot easier to use so at the moment we're on a 1080p 25 frame rate uh, wide view but I'm going to try super wide view as soon as I get off this bit of road take my helmet off swap it to super wide view to check it out so uh, yeah I'll be able to see what it's like you guys will be able to see what it's like if you can't decide whether it's worth getting a super view uh, I think it's only the black edition 3 plus black that has a super view I don't know if the 4s have got it, I didn't look at the 4s But yeah, so, just going to pull over here And switch to super view mode, hang on a second Ding! <laughs> Who does that? I don't know um, <laughs> Right, so we're in the... <coughs> excuse me <laughs> Right, so we're in super view mode, 1080p super view mode Let's see how that looks. Oh. It's a bit down. TP and TP. Now the other thing was, that means I've got two GoPros. I've got a silver and a black. I was thinking of selling the silver, but it still works. Works perfectly apart from you can't use a USB port. So. I stuck it on the back of my helmet and it's facing backwards so I'm sitting down at the moment let's switch over let's stand up stood up right <laughs> sitting back down because I'm coming up to a couple of cyclists so we can go through we'll go past these checking out the front and switch to the rear they're probably thinking what's he got stuck on his helmet yeah I've got two GoPros I've got two of the GoPros So hopefully the angle's alright That was one thing I didn't really uh... Well I mean I walked around my house with it yesterday <laughs> And that seemed okay Let's try it stood up as well Oh yeah I'm Stood up, you can switch in between oh, I could do picture in picture as well That might be interesting. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to getting trying this out on a trail. But normally what I do is uh, I test these things out first on the highway. Before the day of filming. Because the last thing you want to do is go out on a day of filming and you know have the bloody thing pointing at the sky or pointing at my feet pretty cool isn't it oh this is never oldly I'm here never oldly so I think I'll stop up here and take the uh, take the rear facing camera off and stick it in my pocket because I don't really want to be oh, forced it. I 
that's another great thing isn't it, I can slow right down, pass the horse, cheers thanks, switch to the rear camera, see that she's alright, hasn't bolted and thrown her off, so I don't need to go back and uh, what would you do, oh, I haven't got any sugar cubes in my pocket so what could I do, oh, I suppose perhaps just ring for help. Anyway, right, so I'm going to take, take the back one off, we'll stop it there. Right, so, taking the rear facing camera off, that's now in my pocket. Now this thing's also capable of 50 frames a second. So I've switched it over to uh, 50 frames a second now. Still in the 1080p super view, but also that is uh, bringing in the low light capability of the GoPro um, but, so yeah we'll have a we'll have a way up see what that's like so uh, oh this is Artist Lane if you're wondering near Never Audley Yeah, I didn't think of that. If it's in 50 frames, yeah, slow it down, do some slow motion, stretch out the words and slow it down. <laughs> cool, just need someone to say hello to, don't we? I remember cycling up here. Oh, we could say hello to this guy, can't we? Hi, mate, you're eight. Hi, dog, you're eight. <laughs> That's for all the Staffordshire people who are watching. <laughs> Right, uh, anyway, cool. Oh yeah, I used to go mountain biking round here. You're not strictly supposed to because it's National Trust. Hands up, hands up, well only one hand up because I'm accelerating. But yeah, I did, and I enjoyed it, so there you go. <laughs> oh, look at these, his and hers Range Rovers. on film and you're from Colombia so welcome to the UK I hope you're enjoying uh, life over here if you're on holiday um, sometimes it's uh, sometimes yeah we have nice days it's not always raining well I think we'll wrap things up here right so back at base back in the garage I've uh, shown this before but just wanted to show again, uh, just talk you through it, here we are, that's the Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, stuck on, such, uh, it's got them sticky mount things there, it's got these arms, to your 3 Plus, this is a USB connection, skeleton case, that's what went on the silver, was this connection here. And that's your microphone cable. Going into a small microphone there. That was, it was only about two quid that. That's it, it's uh, pretty simple but effective. And then on the back of it, that's the, uh, the old Hero 3 silver that I was using. And uh, yeah, hope for the angle. It's all right for that, and that's it. And I've got stuffed a bit of—I uh, don't know if you can see. Looks like green plant material, but actually a bit of face cloth in the front uh, vents of the helmet. And that was just to 
foot down on a bit of the sound. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now my visor down. Visor down. <laughs> <coughs> so the other thing I wanted to try was the super view out in the car as well and I've got uh, I've got my microphone plugged into it so I can try and get to uh, pick up the sounds that the car makes as well Right out in front of that car. Van, I mean. 